Hello dear traders, you're watching Daily Financial News with me, Anna Kasatkina. Yesterday, the Senate Budget Committee in the U.S. voted to advance the Republican tax bill. This time, the tax bill was approved by the committee without Trump's involvement. Donald Trump argued with Democratic congressional leaders and tweeted that he failed to reach a deal with them on funding the government. However, in the Asian, trade investors preferred to neglect the incident, thus pushing the U.S. dollar index up above 93 points. Obviously, market participants are pleased after a Republican tax proposal moved a step closer to a full Senate vote. Meanwhile, the bullish sentiment was waning in the Asian session. The dollar-yen pair bounced marginally to 111.60 and afterwards made a downward correction. Mass media reported that North Korea fired another ballistic missile at night. Traders are in no hurry to shift focus to safe haven assets, but the dollar-yen pair is likely to trade with muted gains. Japan released a report on retail sales for October. On a yearly basis, retail sales sank 0.2% in line with the forecast. The economic calendar reminds traders of market-moving events in the second half of the global trading day. The U.S. will present flash GDP data for the third quarter. Janet Yellen will testify before the Congressional Joint Economic Committee. Mark Carney is also due to speak today. These and other factors could bring changes to the currency market. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.